leukemia? Do you have cancer? Oh my f***, do you have cancer? Wait, I didn't even notice that. Did she laugh as she makes fun of the cancer? What it do, man? It is your boy, Abdul up next, and I am back with another video today. Yes, Sershki. I don't know what day this is going to be posted, but recently I missed a day posting. I didn't post yesterday. I want to say I'm sorry to everyone. Can you still hit the like button on the video for this one for me? But today we will be watching a video about some girl who is spoiled, stuck up, and thinks that she deserves to be famous. I also heard that she was making fun of a cancer patient in this video too. The title literally says, Teen claims she's famous and everyone else are jealous haters. You read the title and you're like, okay, famous for what? Like famous for what? The problem is nowadays people get famous for just about anything. You look at Kylie Jenner. She started to own businesses and stuff now. Lil Tay literally got famous for disrespecting me. I used to watch Lil Tay's videos with a straight face knowing I'm three times older than her and she got a Lamborghini and I'm truly the broke one but this girl thinks she's Lil Tay Jr. and we just gotta stop that right out of the gate you can't be famous if you don't got no talent bro let's actually get into the video man three two y'all see clear as day that I'm pretty passionate about this so let's see I am famous for being beautiful gorgeous amazing and talented she's talented at what talented at what I need to hear it I need to hear it and I need to be blown away just trying to seek insta fame, you know, through social media, trying to go viral. Talent! talent. I'm live. What's the talent, bro? One night I fell asleep during my live stream. My dad decided that it would be a good idea to yell at my sister, completely stealing my spotlight. I'm not gonna lie, this is how unbothered I wanna be. I ain't gonna lie, it started off, I'm kinda liking the, the woman. She sitting up here asleep while she getting yelled at. I feel her. <laughs> I literally woke up and Bro, that's how people it be, were just making fun of me. I called Maya, yelling at her to take this video down. I was extremely hot. I was coming unglued. She called the police and- Okay, so apparently in the background of her video, her dad was raging at her sister? I, for a second, I thought she had like some terrible parents. I like the dad doing what he gotta do. W dad? Can we get a W dad in the comment section? I mean, at least he ain't do it with the camera out. It's all good. Everybody gets put in their little cutscenes that they can't do nothing about. Everybody gets put with their cutscenes. My dad told me I'm gonna get kicked out. My mom told me I was gonna get kicked out. It happens to all of us. So where is the part where she's obnoxious? Cause I'm here to hate and y'all got me out here having nice things to say. I've streamed that 911 call. I'm like seriously in fear for my life. He's threatening to kill me, he's threatening all this stuff. And it's like, I'm, I'm really scared. I noticed that she was still live streaming from the hotel room that she went to that evening. She Wait, eventually what? did get on the phone with me. You are a narcissistic drama queen, okay? You are. My Why were you live streaming a 911 call? This girl thinks she doing some subathon. She thinks she kites and that everything does not have to be on live. The fact that you're willing to live stream a 911 call, I thought you called them for emergency. There's clear as day no emergency if you can have the phone out. Hey guys, look, I'm in danger. What are we gonna do? How the live know more about what's going on in your situation than 911 does? And don't tell me you called 911 on your own dad on live. That's just clout thirsty. Sitting up there begging for donations. At this point, I'd rather you just make the OnlyFans, shorty. I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to subscribe, but before you go ahead and clout chase and ruin your family for some clout, bitch, go and make the OnlyFans and shut the hell up. Get your money. I'm tired of this. Why don't y'all just go to school? Don't want to be Oprah no more? What, what is she doing? Dad was just totally lying about me to embarrass me. You are a narcissistic drama queen, okay? You are. My dad was just totally lying about me to embarrass me. He even said I was dead to him. I wish you the best. Goodbye. You're dead to me. And I meant it then and I mean it now. The fact is though, the dad is kind of going too hard. Dang, you're a narcissistic drama queen and you're dead to me? No wonder why she crashing out. This is just her form of crashing out. A dude ain't gonna crash out this way. My dad probably just would've probably gave me the beaters. My dad locked me in a room. It's over for me, GG's. That's how it really go. You be lacking, thinking you about to go to bed and he not coming in. His dad walk in, lock the door. I'm getting my beat till the sun is up. But a dad saying this also ain't helping the situation. How is she gonna gain any brain cells? You are a narcissistic drama queen. 
Well, you're a 50 year old sassy ass man. That dad is literally sitting up here with all that sass and that sauce. Sound like some a female would say, narcissistic drama queen. I don't know how you're going to do it, Pops, but I don't think you can make fun of her by how she is because you raised her. The way she is is your fault. Don't forget she came from your ball sack, brother. <laughs> you can't forget that. You got to teach her what's wrong and what she's doing. You can't just sit up there and judge her like you at a high school cafeteria. Dad, I know you yelling at your younger daughter, but you can't go back to your old ways. You like 50 now, right? Am I tweaking? Pops, you like 50 now. They both need a belt. At this point, we need to bring the whole family to therapy. He even said I was dead to him. I wish you the best. Goodbye. You're dead to me. And I meant to say, <laughs> I mean it now. <laughs> Till this day, I have not contacted my Sassy. dad whatsoever. He's just Sassy a man. jealous hater. Maya is all about trying to be insta-famous. My biggest fear is that my dad's going to use this narrative to make me look like a liar. One day. Is it me when she talks? I just can tell like she's brain dead. I don't know. I'm listening to her talk. It's just the way she's pronouncing. It's just, you can just read it, bro. For some reason, I can just guess a GPA below a 2.5. I don't know. I just think she's dumb. Somebody asked her was nine times nine. I just want to see what she's going to say. Something about her is giving dumb. One day, I was seeing my oh, yeah, yeah. famous, and I decided to just troll. How pathetic can you be? You're fat, you're ugly, you look deformed. I was live the entire time. I saw this girl with the ugliest hairline. It <laughs> is a wig. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Leukemia? What? Do you have cancer? Oh my god. Do you have cancer? <laughs> and I was like, oh. she kind of funny, but 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 she roasted me. She roasted me, but she funny though. Oh my god, she asked her what she deformed. She said you fat, ugly, no hairline. Who she describing me? <laughs> Chad, Chad, I'm fat. <laughs> Chad, I'm chop. <laughs> I don't even got no hairline, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god! You funny, but you roasting me at the same time, so you gotta chill before I get to taking it personal. Leukemia? Do you have cancer? Oh my god, do you have cancer? Wait, I didn't even notice that. Whoa. As I watched the clip back again, did she laugh as she makes fun of the cancer? Do you have leukemia? Oh my god, do you have cancer? Laughing face, laughing face? Is she sitting up here laughing as she says that? Oh no. Oh no, we don't play like that, chat. Chat, if y'all didn't know, I lost a homie to cancer. He was a big supporter of one of my videos. Everybody go ahead and put a RIP to my boy. Go ahead and put a RIP to my boy Johnny in the comment section, man. I lost a homie to cancer, so I really don't find this funny at all. You see what I mean? Females, and the, the, the thing about females is they don't know how to roast. They only know how to say too far jokes. Half the time, I'm going to be honest, I ran into some funny females, but when I was in school, I didn't think females was funny. Nowadays, I be thinking y'all funny though, but that wasn't funny. The only thing they know how to do is roast too far. I used to have girls in school tell me I need to get plastic surgery on my nose. I used to have girls in school tell me, I used to have girls in school, we over here reading Romeo and Juliet, and I just mispronounced one word that I'm supposed to be reading. They talking about I got no dad. I didn't even get a chance to roast them. So I already know females don't know how to roast. Like she sat up here and really just made fun of that cancer patient. And that really threw me off, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Put an L for her in the chat, man. That was not funny. Cancer. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And it's the way she makes fun of it. She doesn't like act like she's not wrong for what she said. Like the way she said it, it didn't seem like she realized how far she was. What is funny about having cancer? That's actually very unfortunate, bro. And I prayers out to anybody dealing with cancer, bro. That just not cool. That junk is not cool. R.I.P. Johnny, man. He loved the videos, bro. Oh, you know, messed up hairline. Wig and oh, wig. Cancer, you know. I just connected the dots. She wasn't actually wearing a wig. You are such a loser. You're wearing a wig because you're bald, huh? I thought everything I said was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I'll literally take all your cancer money. I'm going to sue you for all your wigs and chemo. Despite what you joke. Flag on the play, too far of a joke. Back 10 yards, back 10 yards, flag on the play. Flag on the play. Offense automatically gets a first down after that one if they accept or decline, for sure. Wasn't nothing funny about that. I can't even fake a smile. I'm sitting here trying to crack a joke, but I'm more so trying not to get mad at her ass. You see what I mean, what pretty privilege do? 
If a girl bad, people be scared to joke, scared to roast, don't be having too much bad to say. They get away with stuff. Like, if 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 if, if Shorty was ugly, I probably would have had all the roast in the world for her. But I'm, like, sitting up here, like, just trying to play it cool because she bad. Like, hell no, nah, man. Get your frog face out of here. What you talking about? Oh, you got chemo. Like an amphibian. Let's talk about that. Those haters think, like, I have morals. I would never attack anybody who's like a minor, visibly disabled. I knew she didn't have cancer. The video got reposted. People were saying things like, you're gonna find me, kill me. These cancer patients wanted an apology, so I gave them a apology. Ah! Yeah, they're spinning. That's what I'm talking about. My boy, the cancer pace is spinning, spinning on their block faster than Dirk spin for Vaughn. That's what I'm talking about. Talking about she, they gonna get her. Yeah, cause you was making fun of what she had. Duh, they gonna get you. You think they letting it slide? Nah, nah. Disabled or not, if they gotta roll over there on a wheelchair, they gonna get your ass. I'm gonna be right behind them too. I am sorry. Yes, I'm apologizing because like. I really feel bad. I feel like it was a pretty good apology. I really Yo, can somebody play like the cricket sound right now? You gotta go. It's funny because she's trying to make fun of disabled people, but the way you talk and sound, you sure you not on their team? That's my question. Like, you sure, like, you trying to make fun of people for how they are, but I think you need to get tested. You don't got no ADD, no ADHD. You don't need to be on no type of meds. Why do you talk like that? Why do you sound like that? Yeah, let's 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 ask the question. I'm sorry, bro. Shorty just kind of sound dumb to me. You definitely one of the people that was in class and your teacher had to take you out of class to get more time on your test. That insincere ass apology. That's how you're gonna apologize to some people that did nothing to you? Come on, cuz at least at least I admit you was wrong. You were apologizing like you five. This is what I'm saying. And dads can't put their hands on girls, people can't put their hands on girls. I let that apology go, I'm about to meet the switch. Man, I might get hit with the dustpan, the frying pan. I might get hit with the frying pan while it's on with some oil. My parent might put me into the oven like some, like some three little piggies. Like I'm Robin Hood. I might get put into the oven. I really want Dr. Phil to clear my name because I really didn't do anything. You got a lot of attention for Dr. A video Phil that you didn't want to go out, but it went out, right? No, that's not okay. true. What happened? So what happened was I was just, just being famous and one of my viewers reposted the clip. What do you mean you were just being famous? How do you be famous? That's what I wanted to ask. Cause you know, people who are famous, they play sports, you know, they're actors, they're rappers, they do something. What do you do? Are you Mia Khalifa famous? What famous are you aiming for? Pokemon famous? James Charles famous? Bad baby Malu Trevejo famous? What are you trying to be? What is your point that you're getting across? What is your talent? What do you do? Because right now, all I see you do is act slow on live. All you do is act like you're missing brain cells on live. Right? I'm confused. I guess just being like gorgeous, beautiful, amazing, talented, and just a celebrity, you know? So you're gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful amazing, and amazing, talented. talented, and a celebrity? Yeah. And you know what? Like, I can't just not be gorgeous, so I just don't really care, you know? And how do you define famous? Just me. I knew I- If you listen closely, you can literally hear the people who are in the background laughing. Was, I knew I was born famous, a superstar. <laughs> And if you <laughs> no, no, hold on. See, I'm I'm trying to figure this out so I yeah. know. You're famous in whose other than yours, whose eyes are you famous in? The yeah. Globe. The globe. Yeah. On YouTube, you have less than ten thousand subscribers. Oh no, that's uh, yeah, like that's you know, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. No, no, it's not a glitch. It's the number of followers or no, subscribers you have. No, Dr. Phil, it's 100% a glitch. It's, you know, um, it's supposed to be a capital B at the end, not a K at whatever. I think I'm at 7 billion. The problem is people are just too nice. I want to have Dr. Phil's job one day. I think I want to be Dr. Phil when I get older because I would have told her, you need to sit your little dumb delusion. Now, I knew something about her was dumb. I couldn't put my finger on it, but 
Boom. There she goes. She going ahead and admits it. She said there's a B. It's a glitch. No. Even if you had 7 million subscribers, you ain't tap. You ain't do nothing. You have 7,000? And you're sitting up here acting like this? Man, you right here, we're about to watch a video about what her dad has to say about this situation. Now, I actually see why her dad was actually losing his mind the way he was. The dad actually might be real now. After listening to that cringe fest, every time I heard her talk, I was cringing. I was just getting mad. Like, I was just powering up. I'm just about to... Ah! When my dad decided to announce my medical records, I wasn't surprised. That's who my dad is. She has been to psychiatrists and psychologists, at least six doctors, two behavioral health institutions. She's been on multiple medications, had multiple diagnoses. She one time threatened to jump out of a four-story apartment window, and that caused a lot of attention. Okay, so the dad is doing his job. This girl is going in and out of doctors and all of those different things. I knew she had to be on some type of meds by the way she was speaking. Part of my statement, which was to defend myself, there was a lot of comments that were accusing me of not addressing her mental health and getting her the help that she needed. The only doctors oh, I've ever seen were appointed by CPS, Child Protective Services. I've spent over $40,000 in the past Seven, eight years on her mental health. 40,000? Damn. Damn. 40K? <laughs> you know what I do with 40K? At that point, when do you just give up? I see why CPS had to come into the picture. You spent $40,000 for her to get some brain cells and she's still dumb? LB. My dad's poor. Total lie. Like he sold his house to buy a car. Maya was diagnosed with Asperger's, ODD, depression, anxiety borderline personality disorder. He would want me to have as many diagnoses as possible, but it's like I'm just depressed and anxious. I've done above and beyond the call of duty as a parent to try to get her help. My mental health history is just another mask for him to protect himself and deflect from the abuse he put me through. What you and this was the same girl making fun of cancer patients? You got the full diagnosis. You got a starter five of, of, of disease, not diseases. You have a starter five of, of mental illness that you're going through. How about you actually take that help serious? But she claims she doesn't need the help. What y'all what y'all think? By the way that she talks, she actually talks like Patrick. That's who she sound like. You talking like you Patrick, bro. Like, is you Patrick Star or duh, duh, what? Like, duh, 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 duh. let me know, for real. What are you thinking? Why are you going on the internet and and saying these things about your own child. Because hundreds of comments are coming in about how the, the, I'm an abusive parent, how I've not gotten her to proper behavioral mental health care, <clears throat> that she needs to be seen by a doctor, psychiatrist. I, I'm getting all these messages where people are, are making an assumption that she has never had any help, help or, or attention in her life for that. And that was part of my response. These are people you don't know. People I don't know. But again, I, I, I have, I'm, I'm an author, I'm a cybersecurity expert. I have things that my character reputation is being called into question, so. What y'all think about what he just said? It's the fact like, bro, I'm seeing the holes in everybody. Even this guy right here kind of sounds like a dumb to you guys. I'm not going to lie. Bro, are you saying you're getting cyber bullied? Is this man's hair on his chin not gray or what? You too damn old. Oh, people that I don't know are saying something about me. Bro, is he not old as Yo, Your chin hairs is gray, my guy. You got to grow up. What are you doing going back and forth and doing stuff for 12-year-olds on the internet? They're going to say everything bad about you just so you can act out of character. That's their whole goal. You were clearly attempting to derogate her. The, the, and this was less than 24 hours later after she, she called 911 and she uh, right. left I, I, the house. I get the, the, there are was, justifications you're pointing to, uh, but is, a parent doesn't. Emotional. A, a, a parent doesn't do that with like, one of right? their own children, whatever age they are, whether they're Both 30 or 13. You, you don't publicly humiliate uh, someone in your own family. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, and I think I was emotional because I felt I'd been publicly humiliated by her. They both suffer from mental illness. At this point, Dad, it's just the way you raise them. You had every right to program your child's brain. It all depends on what you introduced her, introduced her and how hands-on you chose to be in her life. I don't know how you somehow years go by and y'all beef. You ain't raise her? I be feeling bad, man, because, like, I got a pretty good mom. Like, shout out to moms. I don't know what y'all be going through, bro. Like... 
what the dad is just as sassy as the girl, if not sassier. She might have been taking pages from your book. You're dead to me. Like, get up out of my face. You're so dead. But hey, look, shout out to these four people right here. I give a shout out to four people at the end of every Abdul Up Next video. And you, you right there, your little fat head eye, you can get a shout out too, just like these four people. It's simple. All you have to do is like this video. Let me know that you liked it in the comments section. I will go through and give four people a lucky shout out. Ugh. I ain't no player hater, man. Go ahead, like this video. Four lucky people will get a shout out. But don't get mad at me if you don't get a shout out. If you don't get a shout out, just like the next video, bro. Like the next video, I will go to that. And then I might go ahead and get you a shout out if I see the comment section, bro. Only four people can get a shout out and I play it very fair. I have a Discord and I have a backup YouTube channel. The backup YouTube channel is now consistent. Last post for me was yesterday. Y'all might be seeing this late, so it might be two, three days ago. I don't know. But this, this, this. But this is more Abdul up next YouTube channel will have a video up there every other day. So if you guys see I don't upload here, always make sure you catch up with the videos on the backup channel. And there's plenty more videos that I make every day that you guys can go watch, man. I appreciate everybody who watching. And I am.